Hello and welcome to the Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead High Command tutorial. Here we're going to take a look at some important features concerning the command of large numbers of units using the command bar, quick command and map command. The command bar is used for issuing commands to units within your group. The high command bar abstracts the control of a number of groups of units to a single interface. It might seem like our artists have been getting lazy, but let me assure you that's not the case. These blue icons are NATO symbols, which provide quick and simple indications of the faction, type and size of a group. The window to the right explains the symbols in more detail. Shape and colour denote group faction. The icon in the middle indicates the unit type and the cluster of small items above the symbol represents the size of the group. Access the commands by pressing the spacebar. It'll close itself once a command has been issued. Be aware, menu contents are context sensitive and will change depending upon where and what you're looking at at any given time. Select a single group with a key binding on the appropriate F key. Combat ready. Moving to position. First person view is quick and easy, but for a more strategic overview, the only place to head is the map interface. Select a couple of groups with the left mouse button. Hold control and click on multiple groups to select them simultaneously. Or just use the F keys if and when that's simpler. To plot a longer route with a number of waypoints, hold control while placing them. The groups will progress along the path. It's possible to edit some of the waypoint's conditions. Essentially, you can set a number of options for the waypoint on the fly. As a quick example, let's set the wait until condition and the speed. The orders are executed once the group reaches the point. As you might imagine, these are some great options for coordinating an advance or synchronizing an attack. High Command is a powerful tool which puts you in dynamic control of the entire battlefield situation in real-time strategy, with as much or as little control as you like. Well, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you'll be a little more confident and comfortable when in command of larger groups of units in Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead.